Clotho is a circulating enzyme protein that circulates in your bloodstream. It's uh, produced in your kidneys, your muscles, your brain, your liver, but we find it uh, circulating in, in your bloodstream. And it is directly tied to, to it seems, uh, nearly all aspects of aging. In simple terms, mice that were deficient in Clotho died 30% younger. Mice that were supplemented with Clotho lived 30% uh, longer. Clotho is the new cholesterol. It's a number that we need to be aware of because it greatly affects your health because it is so important and linked to so many different diseases. And not only diseases to longevity and health and being able to just not be 45 feeling like you're 85 and looking like you're 85. So many things related to aging happen if you're low in Clotho. Uh, you're going to have uh, higher levels of chronic inflammation that can lead to many other problems. Uh, higher levels of calcification in the arteries and the heart valves. Higher chance for all types of cancer, particularly skin cancer. Higher chance for uh, early onset of diabetes. A higher chance for early onset of dementia and Alzheimer's. Uh, higher chance for premature hair loss. Higher chance for sexual health decline uh, pre prematurely. Uh, and the list goes, goes on. Every time you're circulating Clotho as low, it increases your chance to have depression, anxiety, addiction, uh, develop a neurodegenerative disorder. We first discovered Clotho as we knew it as a powerful protein to help regenerate muscle or build muscle. And our original intention of doing research with it was to use it as a protein to help us regenerate damaged hearts after a heart attack. But after we got involved with it, we discovered it, it can do so much more than just uh, regenerate and build muscle. On the cellular level, Clotho is very important when it's circulating because when you're stressed out, you are throwing the homeostasis of your cells off, which they get more degraded, they get cracked, you see more wrinkles. So when you're increasing Clotho, it's helping the integrity and the homeostasis of a cell. So that's when we're seeing more of a youthful, healthy, glowing look from the skin and the the appearance of the skin, which is also very important in addition to the health benefits. The relationship between Clotho and so many diseases, uh, uh, in simple terms though, they're basically all of the things that associ we associate with aging uh, and maybe beyond. Uh, and those include calcification of arteries and heart valves, uh, chronic inflammation, the diabetes, both type 1 and type 2. Uh, early onset dementia, cancer, especially uh, skin cancer, uh, even things like hair loss. Uh, if you're low on Clotho, you prematurely lose your hair. If you're low on Clotho, you prematurely lose your sexual function. You'll, if you're a man, you'll, you'll get erectile dysfunction earlier. Uh, even things like uh, if your Clotho level is low and you go in the sun, you're much higher chance to have damage to your skin that may lead to cancer or even may not lead to cancer, just damage to your skin so it doesn't look nice if you're low in Clotho than if you're at normal or higher levels of, of Clotho. Your brain speaks to your body in microcurrent, which is a very low intensity electrical signaling. When you scrape your knee or you break your elbow or your arm, your brain is sending electrical signals back and forth to heal itself. So what we're doing is we're reading and mimicking these signals of healing and amplifying them through the bioelectric stimulation. In your mother's womb, where all of us here uh, came from, uh, you are built with a combination of bioelectric signals that tell the stem cells that have aggregated in your mom's uh, womb to do what they need to do to become what they need to become. S certain signals tell cells, stem cells to become heart. Certain s signals tell stem cells to become liver. Uh, so certain signals tell stem cells to become brain. Without these signals or the program that tells the body what to do, uh, they will not uh, become what they need to become. And what we're doing now is basically taking those natural processes of bioelectrics and biologics, bioelectric signaling with stem cells, with support factors, and, and making them available to, uh, to people outside of the womb. We recently just got issued our patent specifically for this precise signaling sequence to upregulate Clotho. 
after we are unlocking the actual messages of the body electrically to be able to create these precise signaling sequences that unlock the body's ability to upregulate certain proteins. Uh, we're communicating again with the DNA to build RNA and we're also communicating with the cell membranes to open and close specific pores or ionic communication channels to uh, very precisely control the release of the proteins that we desire to, to, to release or to be produced and to be released into the person's circulating blood and, and into their, their muscles and into their organs. So I'm a neuroscientist, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a mom of two. I am very, very busy, but I like to stay healthy. I eat healthy, I exercise, and I sympathize with other women that feel like they're aging quicker than they should be. Having low clothes, though, is you could be 45 and be feeling like you're 85. And it's frustrating that you're exercising, you're eating healthy with the little time that you actually have to take care of yourself and you're still not quite getting what you want to be able to be your highest potential. You can increase your clothal levels naturally by the classics. Eat well, get some good sleep, manage your stress, and most of all, regular exercise, particularly aerobic exercise and muscle-based exercises. And still, with this healthy lifestyle, you're still only boosting your clotho 6 to 12%. With our clinical trials from all of our organ regeneration, we've realized that we can boost clotho from 100 to 150%, which is 10x from the regular 6 to 12% that you're usually getting from exercise and eating healthy. The Botstim suit is programmed with patented bioelectric signaling sequences that have been demonstrated both in preclinical studies and clinical studies to increase circulating cultural levels on an average of about 150 percent. We've actually reached as high as 2,300 percent in some of the of the lab studies. Uh, that basically is at least a 10x what you would get by exercise or muscle weightlifting. So wearing the suit gives Clotho the ability to circulate throughout your whole body, giving it this whole body effect for regeneration and longevity and health, which is good for everything, your hair, your nails, your skin, your brain, your heart, your kidneys. It's so much more than just a muscle repair or a increased recovery from a workout. You're also having the benefit of improving your skin and the health of your skin and therefore your appearance, which is important. <laughs> so we have the one and only patent that's known in the world to control expression of clotho in multiple different cell types and multiple different tissues on demand at very high levels. Walt Disney is one of my heroes and he always would say, you know, it all started with the mouse. For us, it all started with the heart. Uh, we've been working, uh, all, all of my adult life, I've been working on uh, regenerating the heart and regenerating arteries in the cardiovascular system. And uh, the uh, uh, ultimate you know, goal of our research is total body regeneration, in including the heart. The Bodstin suit is a first step in the direction of whole body regeneration. After decades of our research, we've been able to really understand the messaging and the signaling of the body. And this precise signaling sequence we've come up with is for Clotho specifically, which we were just given our issued patent for Clotho production based on the precise signaling mimicking the body's natural language to produce Clotho on itself. It's a lot of trial and error, a lot of experiments. Some things didn't work, some things did work. We're trying signal after signal after signal. It's not working, it's not working, it's not working, it's not working. And then finally... Uh, one day, they, you know, they called from the lab and said, uh, Howard, you, you got to come to the lab. And I came to the lab and they said, look at 489% increase of clotho with this particular signal in muscle cells. We got it. And we said, we got to repeat it because maybe it was a, uh, a, 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 an odd outlier. And then we repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And, and once we get the repeated results, then we write to the patent office and say, we, we've got something that can be patented here. And we really added the signals that we're working with now in 2018 and it takes out 
the way to 2022 till we get the, you know, the, the, the special letter from the United States Patent and Trademark Office saying they call it a letter of allowance of the claims for bioelectric production of clotho.